already fucked it up. No, I didn't. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Odar here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your dashboard to the latest dashboard, which is now 17.148. Uh, sorry about the video yesterday. That was complete shit. I went on about the dashboard for too long and forgot to completely finish the tutorial, so I'll re-record that today or tomorrow and get it re-uploaded. So, um, what you're going to want to do to start is go into the description and download this, XEBuild GUI 17.148. Uh, make sure you have a dump of your flash. You can get this through either Zell, uh, or if your uh, your JTAG or RGH seller included like a CD or USB drive with your NAND, you can get it from there. Or you could also get it from Simple 360 NAND Flasher, which is what I use. So uh, once you have uh, yours, will be called NAND or not NAND uh, Flash DMP dot bin. Mine's called the UPD Flash dot bin. That is because I've made a image before, and this is the most recent uh, thing of my NAND, so I'm just going to use this instead. So, once you have this downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Click Run. Alright, now once you have this open, you're going to go right here that says Source File. You're going to click on Open. And uh, also to start this, once you have your NAND dump and everything, uh, boot into Zell because you're going to need to grab your CPU key unless you want to type it in. Or you have it somewhere else, but uh, I don't. So, well, it generated it into a file on my desktop, but I'm not going to copy it. Um, once you load your NAND, it should uh, automatically detect all this. Your build type, mine is uh, RGH 2.0 and mine is Corona. So uh, obviously, like I said, you can manually type that in, but for this we're going to go through Zell. So enter in your Xbox's IP and get that. And I'm not going to overwrite that because it's the same thing. Um, so once you have that, uh, once you grab the CPU key, uh, you're just going to make sure that Zell, uh, Zell Reloaded is, or well, whichever one for your console. Uh, kernel version as you can see right here is 17148. Uh, make sure include dash launch is checked, and same thing with include dash launch custom settings. This one doesn't really matter, but you can anyway. So now once you have that, you're just going to click on generate hacked image. It's going to build it. It uh, doesn't usually take long. Alright, now that that's done, what you're going to want to do is reboot your RGH or your JTAG. Uh, usually what you would do is you would put your, uh, put the new NAND, you would usually put it onto your, uh, you'd usually put the NAND, the new NAND onto your flash drive, but I can't, just because of the fact that it's, uh, if I unplug my PVR for some reason, Camtasia stops recording, and I don't really want that to happen. But, uh, while my RGH is booting, I don't know if this actually did it right, because I don't see the old NAND and the new NAND, just this one. So while my RGH is booting, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. And if you guys missed it before, now's your opportunity. Just going to rename it something different. Yeah, see, because it was trying to overwrite UPD Flash, which is what I already did. So this time I'm going to have to copy it from use.txt, and my RGH just booted. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this through, uh, I'm going to have to show you guys through, uh, or not show you, I'm just going to have to transfer over the file to my flash drive through 360 Neighborhood instead. So let me just grab my CPU key real fast. Paste that in there. Alright, so do that and check, check, generate hacked image. Hopefully this should actually work this time. Okay, now we have the actual UPD flash dot bin or update flash. I'm just gonna open up 360 neighborhood. JTAG. Well, that's still called JTAG from when I actually had my JTAG. Um now what you're gonna want well, no, again, this is just for me. Sorry, and I'm going to the wrong place anyway. USB, simple three sixty and and then just if you did it from here and you already have that, just delete it off of there. And I'm going to drag that into there. Alright, now we're going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you guys what to do next on 
the RGH or JTAG. So for you guys, you can just uh, put it onto your USB or whatever, and then uh, if you're, I'm going to show you guys how to do it through simple 360 NAND flasher because that's what I use, but uh, if you guys want to go and do it through Zelle, that's completely up to you. I'll wait for my PVR to initialize and actually show my Xbox, that'd be great. Hello? Pliss? Oh, okay. Uh, hopefully this shows. There we go. Alright, so now I'm just going to head over to... Hey, sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, normally I don't do this, but I'm just going to switch over to my PVR recording just because uh, it's easier. So, now what, you, uh, what I was trying to say is you're going to head over to your XEX menu. Once you're in XEX menu, uh, load Simple360 NAND Flasher. Or if you're doing this through Zell, just boot Zell and do it through there. I don't know how you do it. So, yeah. Uh, you can do a safe flash if you want, but as long as you fo follow this tutorial to the T, then, uh, well, not to the T. As long as you just follow it, there's no reason you should mess up. And uh, just press A to flash your NAND. Press Start. And we're just going to let this finish. This goes uh, relatively quick, but um, unless you have a uh, either a Jasper RGH or JTAG that is the 512 or 256 megabyte NAND version, that might take a decent amount of time. And uh, also, what other? Uh, the Corona 4 gigabyte models, the uh, the 4 gigabyte NAND version, yeah, that's a uh, pain. That's definitely going to take a long ass time, and you're going to need a large USB drive to. Uh, um, and yeah, it's definitely going to be a large amount of time to flash. <laughs> As you can see, the console is booting. Uh, if you have a Nandex still, from uh, th those are discontinued now, but you can use that JR programmer if they have the Nand QSB in there. If they don't, you're going to have to do some soldering, but your console isn't completely broken. I reflashed my Nand, so I have the original boot up as well as my custom one now. Alright, so, now, as long as all went well, uh, yeah, see, you know, you, that's definitely Avatar data, because my buddy was just saying something about a system update, it's uh, definitely an Avatar update, as you can see there, my Avatars didn't show up, so, uh, now, if you just head over to System, Console Settings, System Info, and uh, voila, you're now on Dashboard 17148. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and, uh, yeah, um, XBLSC also released their update, is, or that's what people are telling me, if they did, I'll release another video showing you guys how to get that set up on the latest dash. Er, never mind, you guys don't need a tutorial for that, who the fuck am I kidding? Well, anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, if you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, you guys in the next video.